thanks for tuning in. It's Allison with the Rochester Museum and Science Center. Today I'm mixing up a batch of one of my all-time favorite hands-on activities you can do at home. This is something we at the Rochester Museum and Science Center call clean mud. You might have heard it called fairy mud or dry snow. It has a bunch of different names. But if you are really into making slime or oobleck or any type of gack, this is going to be an activity that's right up your alley. To make clean mud, you don't need a lot of materials. First, you're going to start with toilet paper. Any kind will work, any brand, any thickness, anything like that. What you're going to do is you're going to rip up your toilet paper, I've started my pile here, into some shreds. The pieces, you know, whatever size they come out as. We're going to start, we're going to add this right into my big mixing bowl here. We'll start with this much because we have a lot and my bowl's not that big. Next, what you're going to need is flakes of bar soap. This is just your plain old boring basic white bar soap. To get it into flakes, I have mine here. I've been using a cheese grater and with an adult's help, you can easily grate your soap into nice flakes, just like this. So you'll need about a cup of those. I have mine right here. I'm gonna sprinkle these right on top of my toilet paper. Kind of give them a good mix, right? The last thing you're gonna need for your clean mud is about two cups of warm tap water. You're just gonna slowly drizzle this right across the top. There we go, and you can see in my bowl, right, the toilet paper is kind of starting to break down a little bit. And with your hands, you're just gonna slowly add water and keep on kneading your dough. The texture for this, you guys, is really unique and really special. Um, it's really squishy, but instead of being muddy or gacky and sticky, it's actually gonna come together really nicely and it leaves your hands smelling really clean. Something I love about this activity, you can talk about the states of matter with it. Here we're not doing any sort of chemical, uh, chemical changes, but this is um, talking about different physical changes, right? Um, it's also really fun for sensory exploration, developing the muscles in your hands. Um, and I'm gonna just add the last bit of my toilet paper here. You can see the bubbles. It's soapy and squishy. As you go and as you need it, the toilet paper is gonna to start to absorb the moisture and the soap, you can see the bubbles, right? Squeeze that right out. Really kind of comes together. And for an additional couple hours of fun with this stuff, what you can do is grab some cookie cutters, some rolling pins, roll it out, make different shapes. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is Clean Mud and I'm Allison at the Rochester Museum and Science Center.